Uh, what the f was that? Brother, you need help. You need help. Immediately. All Atreides. The man. The myth. The messiah. He went from outsider to having millions glazing him. Listen, I'm getting. But in order to rise to the top, he had to take his ops down along the way. The biggest of them being this bald ass man, Fade Ratha, who was quite frankly a true menace. I mean, he was kissing men, licking blades, committing murder just cuz? That man was severely lacking a mother's embrace as a child. Oh, yeah, never mind. He killed her! Huh? Is this nigga serious? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. So, uh, yeah, he's a problem. But you know, even the biggest problems have to prove themselves. Just like when Thanos kicked Hulk's ass so bad he turned into an influencer. Yes, Hulk big ass, an influencer. Right. And trust me, he does so full throttle. The first time we get to see this dude, he's out here getting tarred up by a servant. And tell me why the first thing he says is, You like some fresh meats, my darlings? Did I hear you correctly, mister? He gets some new blades, and he had to try him out. Killing his servant immediately. What did he say fuck me for? Wait, hold up. Now I see why her teeth are charcoal. <laughs> she be eating human rib cage with a side of brain goop every morning. Like, what the hell you all Stop need? Help. Get some help. Somebody tell me why bro had his boobies out. Huh? This whole scene is out of pocket. Out of pocket for that shit. But while all that weirdness is going down, we learn quickly what's going on ahead. We see a couple of guys get drugged, yes. They got slipped up Herc 1. But one of them was left stone cold sober. Huh. Guess we're in for a show. I'm interested. The next few scenes are some of the most creative, artistic pieces I think I've ever seen. Given the Harkonnen planet a black sun, so our view of it is black and white? I mean, oh holy gosh. shit! That's ridiculously smart, man. <laughs> but, but let me get back to business. Let me stop glazing. Let me stop glazing. I mean, man, just look at this Voldemort looking nigga. <laughs> 46 years of black sun got my boy looking pasty. Looking like powder mixed with a dude from Barry. And speaking of uh, ugly bald niggas, <laughs> the Baron pulls up with thousands of fans, all with one intention, to watch Freyd Roth. I want to just call him Austin Butler so bad, man. To watch Fade Rotha go to work. Bro, can somebody please explain to me why these witches are wearing shower curtains to this fight? <laughs> like, I know y'all are warm. I know it's hot as fuck on that planet. Y'all should've just left them bitches at the crib, man. Y'all should've just stayed at the crib. Well, it's not drippy either. Like, you're starting no waves. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are trash. There is one that ain't trying to be different. It's also got a very close eye on Austin. With his two trusty knives ready, Fade Rotha begins his walkout. And when he does, man, fireworks start going off. And we see them in black too, they look like black globs? That is, um, this movie is too good. <laughs> this movie is insane. Oh my god, bro, is dick riding all you do? Walking with passion, steady and full, he's ready for some action. Bars. He turns his shields on, and out comes the fresh meat he was looking for. Big paws in that one, no ditty. But they weren't just some average Joes. They're the last survivors of House Atreides. The Arkanen think they are at least. Two big ass meatheads clearly off the wad. And one slight build Asian man. It walks towards Brock Lesnar, and he swings. But he weaves in and hits him with a nasty gut check. Or does that like Ryan Garcia to Devin Haney? He tries to swing again, but that walkie had him stumbling at this point. So Fred gets him with a double slice to Michael Myers. Look at that yell though. He was ecstatic after that dub. Look back at dude's dead corpse with disgust. The big show comes up next. It goes for the weakest slash I've ever seen. And somebody get that guy a manual. Where are you going? It's a little big ass countered and sliced bitch. Uh, what the fuck was that? Brother, you need help. You need help. 
immediately. Gang, I'm gonna give it a buck 50. You stand no chance. <laughs> he quite literally lives for this. I got one word of advice for you, big bro. Run, bitch! Run! Oh, no, he said don't count me out just yet. Nigga is we, ducking, bobbing, we, two-stepping, we, and weaving all of Austin's we. attacks. I mean, shit, even Rotha was impressed a little. He goes in for another flurry of attacks that leaves him in a stalemate. Which this crazy ass nigga invites with open arms, with a smile on his face. He unequips his shields, taunting bro in front of the crowd. I mean, damn. <laughs> he had his arms out and everything, looking like Prime McGregor. Austin looked like a real deal demon right now, bro. And ain't that just fitting? Cause I mean, look at what these niggas helping them close out are wearing. I mean, these costumes send a shiver down my spine. And just like that is round two. It Rotha gets him with a clean slash. Mr. Miyagi gotcha, reels it back with a spin slash. That Austin ducks. I mean, look at his face, man. He knows he's playing with his food. The flurries begin again quickly. But this time, he's able to get him with a headbutt and a leg sweep. And just as things really get going, Miyagi grabs him. So this Alice in Wonderland NPC stabs him, which pisses Fred Rotha off. I mean, damn, just look at the yell. <gasps> that was something serious. You know this dude is going to turn into a human meat kebab after this. <laughs> Getting fed to that trio of weirdos from earlier. He hits the knife out of his hand and tries nope. to tackle him, but gets countered into a suplex. And even with a chance of being stabbed, he continues to play with his food. Smiling as he just barely fends the knife off. He's enjoying it so much, he was drooling, man. This nigga is crazy. You fucked up. But after a while, he gets bored and rather serious. He counters him one last time and stabs him in the chest, staring into his eyes before letting his lifeless body fall to the ground. <laughs> he begins to walk back to celebrate his victory as the Baron watches on, knowing the monster he's created. He knows he's ready for his true mission, taking back the spice on Arrakis. And following that, becoming emperor this nigga is crazy who knew the sexy gojo i mean the clean ass sakuna tea they even got this dark and ominous but clean itadori shirt and for those of y'all that like wearing rings or even necklaces they got y'all right too you can find all this and more at animeexpress.store and when you check out use code za10 for 10 percent off i.e ue it's a win-win now go to animeexpress.store and use code za10 for 10 percent off at checkout Smoking in my tank, yeah. Slamming in my tank, yeah. Off the shrooms, I see clear. Sipping lean, I don't sip no bill. I don't pop no more perks on clear. But I'm popping it perk for the one time. Fucking this hoe, but I only do one time. Just give me my money. Just give me my money.